this tutorial we're going to take a step further with the basic behaviors using visual scripting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that when the pitcher is clicked on he throws the ball and when the batter is clicked on he bats the ball and then runs around the path. So to begin with let's click on the pitcher. We haven't created a graph for him yet so let's create a new one. Let's leave the name as the default setting. So now we have the picture. So what we want to do is when we want to, we want to trigger an event. So within the task library, if it's not already started, use the reload library and then type trigger. So now we're going to trigger one of the events that we've created in the earlier tutorials. So if we drag trigger event over to the behavior graph for the picture, so on trigger event we don't want to trigger the event of the picture we want to trigger the event of the baseball so we click on the trigger event go to the selected item settings and rather than graph owner we pick an entity and we choose the baseball because it's the baseball that we've created the on hit and on throw events for so with the baseball as the subject the event will be on throw on throw so now when this is triggered the um, baseball will be sent an event saying on throw which will then activate this pin and throw the ball so in order to do that we said we wanted to have it so we can click on the picture so we've shown you how to expose all of the pins of the um, Ref of a reference to a 3D entity but what we can also do is just use these quick menus to find the events and the attributes of, uh, of the entity so here we are interested in on mouse click so when we click the picture entity it triggers this event and the event is fired within the baseball so let's just run the simulation quickly just to make sure that this does happen so make sure we're using the select tool just so we're not manipulating anything within the scene okay so we've clicked the picture and he has thrown the ball and he does that every time so now when we click on the the batter rather than just following the path immediately what we want to do is we want to fire the on hit event of the baseball so again we need to use the trigger so we already have it open if you don't then use the task library to find the trigger event uh, task on the trigger event we want to trigger the event again of the baseball and this time the event that we want to trigger is on hit so you'll remember that we created these events in a uh, in the in an earlier tutorial so now let's stop him from following a path as soon as he's clicked so now on mouse click trigger the event in the baseball so now he hits the ball back then follow the path but we don't want to follow the path immediately let's put in a weight so again using the SAS library let's find a weight and here we want a time so we can expose uh, we can wait for a certain amount of seconds so we drag the weight task into the batter's graph and then once the event has been triggered we will wait we don't need to wait a duration of five that seems a little bit too long so we'll wait a duration of one second and then after one second we'll follow the path so we've already have this running if it's not running already then run the simulation and now we click the picture and then we click the batter and the batter bats the ball back and then after one second starts running around the path so another thing you'll notice here is that the batter stops at the end of the path and doesn't return onto the batting pad so what we can do here is we can copy the position and the orientation of the batter before he follows the path and then set the position and the orientation back to that after he has followed the path 
So in order to do that, we need to we can type in position into the task library search and we can get the position and the orientation of a 3D entity. So we'll drag that onto there. So this is something which is going to get the orientation and the position of the 3D entity at the point that we tell it to. So we are going to tell it to do this. Um, right, we'll trigger the event first, then we'll remove that by clicking, to, clicking on it and then clicking delete. Then we will get the position and the orientation on to the wait so he starts following so he will wait before he starts following the path then we need to set the position so we can go ahead and select the set position task and pop it onto the behavior graph of the batter and then we need something in order to do the orientation so we'll type in orient and it will come up with orientation now the two for set orientation one of them is to set the orientation and the other one is to set the orientation given the axis and the angle. So we have the orientation as one, so we will set the orientation like so. So that was to select the first one from the list. Then what we need to do is connect the position output pin to the position input pin of set position and do the same for orientation to the set orientation task. Then we want to start these two things after the path has been followed. So once the path has been completed, we then set the position of the model back to the original position they were in previously. So let's stop the simulation just so we can start off from the settings that we want. So we will click the picture, click the batter, batter bats the ball, waits, runs around the path, returns back to the end and then goes back into batting position. And now we can throw the ball again and bat the ball again and off he goes again. So in this tutorial we've created some more basic behaviors using visual scripting but this time we have connected to some of the events that we've created in previous tutorials. So for the baseball, now when the baseball on hit event is triggered, the baseball is hit back to the pitcher and when on throw is triggered, the pitcher throws the ball to the batter. So within the batter entity, we have the on the mouse click event. So when we're clicking on the mouse, we're, when we're clicking on the batter entity, he can hit the ball back and the pitcher can throw the ball. 